I'm back after a short break. <coughs> so these are all the myths that I found common amongst tech YouTubers or my friends. So let's start. Android is comprised of a few parts that include the Android system, the Google apps, Android kernel and some other stuff. The kernel is licensed under the GNU GPL version 2 and is not open source. Most of the Android system is open source and most of the Google apps are not. To put this into perspective, if the whole Android package is around 500 megabytes, the open source part would be around 180 megabytes. Yeah, the whole Android package is not open source, but this is still better than other operating systems. Viruses are programs that tamper the system or the user data. In Android, no application can access the system or the user data. The application can only access the data it has stored or the data that the user allows access to. Actually, the user itself doesn't have access to the system or the data stored by apps unless you have root access. So viruses aren't common on Android, but malware is. Malware apps can give you push notifications or loads of advertisements inside the app and uh, that's it. They can't make any changes to your data that you store on your phone or the Android system. TouchWiz, HTC Sense, Cyanogen OS, etc. are not skins of Android. They are completely different operating systems. For example, we don't call Android a skinned version of Linux or iOS a skinned version of Linux. These custom operating systems are made by taking some parts of Android and adding them to their own OS or vice versa. In HTC Sense, TouchWiz and all these other custom operating systems, the stock Android apps have been replaced by stock Samsung apps or stock HTC apps and new features have been added like download mode that was not at all present in the stock Android version. root is the topmost directory of the storage and the system admin is also called root rooting is not the answer to all the modifications that you can do to your android phone rooting your phone will not magically upgrade to marshmallow overclock it or add custom themes these things are very phone specific and the answer is a half yes yes rooting can make all these things possible but it's just a gateway to all these modifications to upgrade your phone to marshmallow there should be a marshmallow based custom ROM available for your phone and similarly to overclock your phone a custom kernel should be there for your phone and this goes for all the other modifications as well. Root lets you and apps make changes to the Android system and data and it ends there. The less free RAM the better. The main objective of Android is multitasking and when you close apps using a task killer or the overview screen it stops Android from learning your app usage behavior. So killing an app might make your phone faster for the next few moments but it will become slow again after a small period of time and Android will never be able to work efficiently. Android actually treats the user closing apps or force closing apps as an app crash and the app will open again after some time. Android has a built-in task manager that automatically closes apps when you open new ones. So don't worry about closing apps and let Android learn from you. So those are all the myths. Make sure you share the video to your friends and uh, give a like if you like the video. <laughs>